Hi guys, how are you? And Dana, welcome to my channel. And I have a new bullet journal. I got it from Amazon and it will be linked down below. The um, brand is Minimalism Art and it's the dotted notebook. You can get it in various different shapes, like um, lined or, you know, whatever. Um, so there I'm just showing you that it has 192 pages and it has a hardcover and it's an A5 like always. The last one that I had, the Fabriano, was only 80 pages so yeah, that's a ginormous difference and the, the cover wasn't too hard or anything. Um, so the first page is actually pasted there and as you can see I did um, like draw or just marked in, in pencil all that I was going to do first so that I it will be a little bit quicker so the first little thing uh, that I did uh, for my cover page was um, I actually watched a video that was that I was super inspired by because you know I'm always looking for inspiration so um, this video i will absolutely link it below um but i am just drawing a moon there and um the video is um like a 2018 uh setup for um from jordan clark and i was really really inspired about this and i pretty much did almost the same thing i just the moon is very different and i don't know why but I have always been really inspired by the moon and it has all, always been kind of close to me in some way so um, that's why I did that and um, I just colored it in with my Tombos and, um, and I did put a quote there that it says what is yours will find you and that is exactly what it said on the video that I'm talking about. So don't forget to check it out. Because um, there's more stuff that I kind of was very inspired by. And then in the bottom, I just uh, did a very simple April um, the word with my black tumbo. And in the bottom, I just put 2018. Um... So, yeah, um, I wanted to talk to you about, um, the way, like, the pages of the, um, bullet journal, because maybe you saw that I was, like, measuring the dot grid size of the new one and the Fabriano one, the old one. The Fabriano one is four millimeters by four, like, edge a square or whatever is four, four by four and then this one is five by five uh, millimeters i'll put the difference in inches for everyone anyone that is from the u.s but um anyway so that's something that i did that i really love i just really did find out that the um the moon stuff kind of blurred into the other side of the page but it's much better than the Fabriano one so then there's my future log and probably you're, you're seeing that I'm doing it there um, so I decided to do a little bit of a simpler manner so um, I did use my uh, Tombo Futenosuke and I went in the like title I divided in, in the two pages and I really did like how it looked and I am doing a vertical layout now because the other well I kind of really didn't know what a, an actual future log was because I never really used it but now I realized that maybe it's more kind of like for birthdays and everything because I always used to put on the birthdays in the month that I was in but I thought that it would be much better so I can actually buy a um, present for the person that the the um, birthday is 
for. So yeah, um, and I did put, I'm using like the color that is the most, um, or the like food feature color is lilac. So I, I really love that one. And yeah, I don't know, um, and every single, well, no, I, I think my Fabriano one, I also did purple as the theme kind of on the setup. So there I'm just doing tracing the lines and I did uh, divide the vertical like spaces into two, one small one so I can just do the uh, small calendar and then in the longer one I just put events and birthdays, events, sorry, e events, no. And I did from April to September, um, I don't know how much <coughs> I will actually get in there, like, how, <laughs> I don't know how long will it last, um, but it's a very thick notebook, much more than the other one, so I'm really, really happy with it, and the quality is so much better, so, so much better, and I'm not afraid to use my uh, Tombos there, because, you know, uh, expensive um, brush pens do fray very badly in bad paper, so I never really use them in my other one. So now I'm going to use them much more, because it's a very smooth paper, and if you have textured or bad paper, that kind of kills them. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I... Um, the months that I did in my last one were from November to almost April. I, I did have um, all the space for it. I just decided to do it. another thing that you will be seeing pretty soon. Um, it's kind of like an, a little surprise. Um, but yeah, I did fit November to April. So the, those were kind of some months. So um yeah but it's so great to set up finally my bullet journal cause um my new journal cause i got it um maybe a week ago but i just um did a review on it on amino bullet journal of course so if you want to i'll link the, the, the link to my review and the amino app my profile so um anyway i'm just writing them and sometimes i'm stopping because i'm looking at my calendar that is in like i just wanted to i don't i didn't have my phone because i actually film with my phone so that's why um i was going up to my calendar um but yeah so the um oh i didn't tell you the it ha this journal has actually a bookmark, so I love that because my last one didn't, and I was all over the way, like mess. It was a mess because I didn't really know where I was. So anyway, next up is the key. I don't know if we are there yet because I can't really see much. But anyway, so um, I did make it much um like minimal this time because i think i don't really remember exactly um why i thought that having a bunch of stuff like for my key was good because i only used three or four i don't remember um but i had like eight key stuff so but anyway um Oh, in the um, um, back on the future log, the um, names of the months. I actually did them with my paper red flare. Well, the first one was with my Futenosuke, but it kind of went through paper, and I didn't want to ruin my, to ruin my front page. So yeah. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much my future log, and hopefully we can get into the key. Um, and I don't know why, but I'm a person that always loves quotes. So um, after my key, I did write a quote that it is one of the, I don't know, my 
favorite ones. It's, um, well, I'll tell you about it in a second now. Well, not a second, but in a while, in a little while. Um, but anyway, we're on to the Kino, um, and if you can see that, I actually did write the, uh, the titles, like, in pencil, um, what the pages were about so yeah and i did add some new stuff that i'm really really excited to fill in because for instance the the setup that i did for twin like for 2017 november um it was like I, I had a lot of stuff that i never used so i just thought maybe i could uh, change them for something that I hopefully will and I'm really excited about them so the key is the normal task instead of doing the rectangle um, or the square I did a circle it's just more cute so the first one is the task the second one tasked on is filled in I will fill it in in a minute in a second then um, the third one is task never done that is a circle and a line there as you can see then um, the task moved is the arrow pointing right and the circle and the task schedule is the arrow pointing left and the circle so um, <coughs> sorry hopefully that would be much easier to keep up with and then there I'm just doing some lines to not be like crooked in the um, quote that I'm reading there and it is you have brains in your head you have feet in your shoes and you can steer yourself any direction you choose it's by Dr. Seuss and I love it um, and I did do some calligraphy there that I have been learning and practicing so much if you haven't seen my intro to brush lettering or calligraphy then I will link it below and in the cards and in the end. <laughs> so everywhere so you can find that. Um, and also if you want to see my 2017 setup. Because it was kind of like I wasn't as good with calligraphy or anything. If you're starting out then probably you want to check it out. And yeah I'll link it below also in, in the cards. Um, so I really like this quote because it just pushes me to be better because I have everything that I need to do it. And the next couple of pages are going to be kind of the same in that sense. So, well, not, well, yeah, yes and not. Uh, the next page is my book tracker and I wanted to do one for a long time. And my friend Laura from um, Bullet Journaling Amino actually... Uh, gave me that idea because she um like draw or um yeah in her bullet journal like a bookcase and a sofa really comfy and we talked about how um great it would be if we actually had something like that in real life so I thought that I could just do my own thing in that sense instead of a couch I just put an armchair and a pillow and everything and a window um, but yeah the books are not actually drawn on because I thought that it would be better if I draw them like once I finished it and then like color it in or not I don't know I'm not really sure about that right now because I like I have been reading one book now but I haven't I haven't finished um, and I'm not really gonna track from the start of the year because I think that would be a lot of books that I'm not really I, I haven't really realized that I finished and I don't really know the names because a lot of people um uh, like um I don't know how to say it but like I lend some books to people and they lend me so I don't have the books exactly with me so I'm going to be tracking the ones from April on so that's why there's not that many like I I want I didn't want to do it two pages like Laura did or and a lot of people did. Um but anyway that's my way to do it. 
the armchair is kind of crooked but um <laughs> that's fine i think um and as i don't know if you noticed but i have been using throughout all this video um my um stabler point 88 fine liner because my geo college um pick me liners are going very low on ink and i honestly don't have the time nor the money to purchase them now and i do want to wait until i can do the full review on every single thickness so it will happen just <laughs> wait for me because i need to catch up on bills and everything so anyway um so um yeah the next page is something that i wanted to do for a long time ever since i watched my left in a bullet um one setup i think i'll link it below i'm not really sure which one it is but i think the 2018 i'm not really sure but anyway it's a savings uh, spread so that means everything that you want to purchase you can just put it there and do like squares meaning um each i don't know like maybe ten dollars or whatever amount you want um i did it in 500 pesos that probably means uh, i don't know let me <laughs> let me take a look into that um guys you know you do you like if you want like for me the stuff that i want are kind of a little bit expensive but i'm just tracking those savings and not like i want to book savings so because that that is easier to save for <laughs> but anyway um uh, dollar or two peso <clears throat> and if you don't know, I do live in Mexico, so that's why I'm tracking it as peso and a dollar or euro or anything. Um, so 500 is $30. So, like, for me, that's, like, because you had like one peso it's equal to almost 18 dollars so probably i don't know whatever it's kind of like a little bit of an of amount of money and it's enough like normal enough that i can save it like it's not really like oh i don't want to i want to buy something else or something it's just easy for me but you do you like um and i did put an ipad pro and then an apple pencil because i actually really want to try to do um some art there and i would really like to try a little bit of a digital bullet journal even though i love my bullet journal and like my physical one and i will never change it i just want to try it out and i just want an app and uh, uh, and iPad, so I have never had one because I thought that why I have millions of I iPhones and it's kind of the same thing, but no, I want to draw. I really love to draw and I would really like to draw in a like digital stuff. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry about the rant. And I also did put an Apple Pencil because that kind of goes with it. So the first uh, set of um, squares are five um how much i have to save for the first stuff in the next um like line of qu squares is for the apple pencil and then the second one is my desk that i was going to have um made but i thought it would be less like more <laughs> less uh expensive for me to just buy one for my key or whatever but i'm actually gonna do it in sections so i'm gonna buy a set of drawers and then i'm gonna buy um like doors or something i don't know i'm gonna plan it out but it's um yeah that's that and um as well a desk and a chair because my chair is really cheap in the sense that no it's not cheap but it's just not as comfortable i as i would like 
and I do spend a lot of time there when I have time like to bullet journal and everything and then the last one that is the biggest box one sorry that was my dad um oh yeah sorry um <laughs> that's weird but anyway um the last one is my um iMac that i wanted i have been wanting it for a long time but every time that i save up um i spend it in another thing and this is the most expensive stuff that i want as of now um so that's why there's three columns <laughs> of squares but anyway i just wanted to say that um like a little bit of news uh, yesterday I was in a car accident I'm fine I just have those horrible colors and I'm not feel feeling too well that's why today I decided to film this because today is the three like third of um, April so I'm kind of like late to this and I will plan for April April in the ne next video so go check that out because it's probably um, I don't know I don't know if it's going to be done while you're seeing this, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm just writing there, the square is equal to 100 pesos. So yeah. The next page, page is something that I, is 100% inspired by um, the YouTuber that I told you about. That is called um, Jordan Clark. And it's a card of the year, you know, those tarot, tarot cards. Um, and I chose, this as well as her, the magician, because, um, and I did spell that really wrongly in the first bit. Um, I, I did a T instead of a C. And um, it's, like, all that it is about is um, kind of mm, the same as... Um, <laughs> The quote by Dr. Seuss, like, you you have everything that you need in order to be successful or to achieve whatever you want. So that is um, the magician, and I, um, I actually kind of made a new look into it because um, I didn't really like the normal one, and I found this image that I linked below. And it's so fabulous, and I just thought that I could re maybe recreate it, even though it looks like a k kindergarten drawing. But I really love it, and um, it's all about um, kind of like personal power, creativity, and manifestation of who you are. So I just wrote there, um, while I'm drawing, I'm just going to tell you. Um, you have all the skills and abilities you need to have to be successful. The universe is always aligning to guide you on your path. This card signifies a time in your life when you have the power to manifest the outcome you want. Try things that are coming your way. Be confident and creative. So I thought that um, it's kind of like my way to say like um, the word of the year that I did do on 20, like in my other journal. So I just, um, just really like this idea and it's not mine, like it's from Jordan Clark and I will link her channel and her video below. But anyway, I really, really like the way it turned out, even though the drawing is pretty weird. But, um, yeah, I really like that. Anyway, in the next page, I also kind of did this for my life in Bullet. Because I saw that she had a page like this that has, like, where is my, where did I left my... Um, keys or my whatever you know it's always like something that you forget where you put it and I just thought this spread was really good for me because I'm not really good with um I don't know like realizing where I put stuff and all that so it's just a very simple spread and I just put where is my and yeah and then a bunch of little uh, circles signifying the stuff that I um, will write there but it's just not really 
something really like extremely different I just really wanted to, to do a page like that <coughs> sorry I have been sick quite a bit sorry um, and actually um, I do remember that the um, last journal um, I did the um, waiting on list but I never really filled it up even though I did wait on for a lot of stuff it just was a pain to do I just didn't really want to so I didn't add it in there nor the the video ideas stuff so yeah and the last um, little spread or page is quote quote for the month I think that that was the worst one in the like title part um, but I did this because I if you have been seeing my uh, bullet journal spreads I love to do to put quotes in there so I thought that it would be really awesome for me to just do one quote each month that will inspire me each month so um, <laughs> yeah I just thought that through um and i just i have never really seen it in anywhere but i just thought that it would be a good idea but you can do that with anything like songs or movies or books or whatever but yeah that's pretty much it and check on the um the intro to uh, brush calligraphy or lettering and yeah so that's pretty much it i'm just gonna left you leave you left you leave you with um a little bit of the music and oh yeah i did wrote my name and i thought that i would just do blue because that's my name in amino and everywhere else so please follow me on all my social media accounts that i will leave below and Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and share with your friends and sh spread the love and everything. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will be seeing you in my next one. Bye! and click the notification bell to watch all the videos right when I post them. Bye!